Is of book on Savikar, Savarkar by Gautam Sampar. Along with me, Dr. Vivek Jagrai, the Suman Patra, Vikram Sampat, all the dignitaries among the audience, my media friends. The friends, in my opinion, the history should be an independent representation of the occurrence that have happened in the past. The one can have his own interpretations the based on the experience and intellect. But moreover, the history has to be the fact driven and not the opinion driven. Now, unfortunately, in our country, the history that has been forced upon us has been the propaganda of the West and what they thought about us. They thought that, and we are the land of snake charmers, they thought that we were the country of the poor. But my question is, did they invade us because we are the poor? The answer is definitely no. The first person to challenge this VCS propaganda was Sri Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. So his book is 1857, The Swatantra Samar. He challenged the might the British Empire and brought from the their delivery of the glorious patriotism and who fought bravely against the British Empire. This book has ignited the flame of the patriotism among the many youth and the British regime banned this book. So fortunately, the only one copy of this book was saved with the Goan person and this has help in getting it reprinted. So, Satantrabhi Savarkar was unsung hero and who fought the British regime, faced the most brutal punishment and at, after the India's independence, the section of the people of only the spread lies, the falsehood and hurt it against him. The patriot and who wrote Ne Majasi Paratha Matra Brumila Sagara Prana Talamala. The patriot who expressed the satisfaction that his family has sacrificed itself so that other countrymen can breathe independently India through this word. Santanaya Matra Bhumi Si Tisa Boti, Ye Matra Bhumi Rakta Sanjana Danya Boti, Tea Apule Kulahi Tiamadi Ishwaransi, Nirvansha Bhuvan, Nirvansha Bhuvani Tarale. Akhanda Vansha. We as the Indians have largely failed to acknowledge the life and the work of the glorious patriots. I am happy that Sri Vikram Sampath has brought to light the sum of the well-researched content on the Veer Savarkar in the form of this book, form of this book and which will become an important document to inspire the future generation of our country. The Goa has always been an integral part of the India, in spite of being under the Portuguese regime over the four decades. The Veer Savarkar has written a book named, as you said, the Govantak, the based on the, the plight of the Govans under the Portuguese operations and the need for the Goa's liberation. I take this opportunity to announce that the government of Goa will make it a point that reprint the Veer Savarkar's book, namely the 1857's J. Swatantra Samar and Govantak on the immediate basis. <laughs> we will circulate these books and along with the written by Sri Vikram Sampath's book in all the libraries of the Goa. <laughs> the Veer Savarkar also highlighted the importance of being in every sense, he stated that by, by coming the parallel Indian words to replace the English words, the examples, it is an audio tape, twenty feet, mayor, etc. So I thank for the organizers for calling me for this special function. Uh, I'll take this opportunity that I'm very much lucky person that I got the opportunity to visit the, the house of the Vid Savarkar in Ratnagiri and also the Padit Pavan Mandir, which have started then by the uh, Savarkar in the Ratnagiri. I am very much lucky.
also the portrait of the Veer Savarkar, which we have uh, already in our uh, secretary, we have uh, portrayed there. So, I'll take this opportunity for oh, once again, and thanks all the organizers for calling me for the release of these books. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much, sir. Now I would like to request uh, someone, sir, to.